In this section, we're going to continue graphing quadratic equations. And if you'll remember, a quadratic equation has like x squared, x, and a number. And it's going to graph again to be a parabola. But we're going to graph it in a different way um, by finding the intercepts. Because sometimes it's easier to use the standard form. Sometimes it's easier to use intercept. But before that we do that, we need to go back and talk about how to solve a quadratic. And the way that you solve a quadratic is by using the zero product property. And the zero product property says that if you take two numbers and multiply them together and the answer is zero, then one of these two numbers has to be zero. So that's helpful when we work through um, example one of solving the equations. So the first example I'm going to give you is 5x squared plus 12x plus 14 equals zero. We want to try to figure out what two numbers could I put in place of x that will give me zero. And the only way to solve this is by factoring or the quadratic formula. So I'm going to factor. And this factor, since that's a 5, this factors to 5x and x. And then I think about my factors of 14, 1 and 14, 2 and 7. And I want to pick the two that will make this add up to 12 in the middle. And that is a 7 here and a 2 here, and a plus, and a plus. So what I have is this times this equals 0. So that means that 5x plus 7 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. So 5x equals negative 7, so x equals negative 7 fifths, or x equals negative 2. These are the only two numbers that will work for x in this equation.